So it's the morning after the night before. That game against Middlesbrough, that stung. Penalties again, Jesus. But I don't really want to talk about the football in this video. I really want to talk about something that I consider far, far more important. And I think I really understand what's going on right now at Manchester United with Ralph Ragnick, with Jesse Lingard, with the staff at United and with the board. Everybody's involved and it is ridiculous what is going on. And I want to explain it and why, for me, it's... It's so frustrating and, and, and it angers me because I know that Jesse Lingard is at the center of all of this and we could have removed it in the January transfer window if the board wasn't greedy. But let me run through this video. Please watch this and, and, and listen to it because this is what's going on at Manchester United at the moment, right? This is a sort of uh, tweet from Jesse Lingard that kind of kick-started it all. Um, Ralph Radnick before the game against Borough said that Jesse Lingard had been given a couple of days headspace. Um, after his failed move to Newcastle and the fact that he had to stay at the club. Jesse Lingard decided to come out and said the club had advised me to take personal time off. Uh, my headspace is clear and I'm ready to play for Manchester United. First and foremost, regardless of what happens next in this video, that from Lingard undermines the position of the manager publicly. That's basically a fuck you from Lingard to Radnick saying, no, you're lying. I'm protecting myself. And it's in his own self-interest to go and do that tweet. Now, Lingard wasn't involved against Middlesbrough. One matter ended up coming off the bench. United weren't exactly littered with options from the bench, were we? Cavani was out as well. And this is what Ralph Radnick said after the game. He said this. He said, with Jesse, I told you what, mate. Let me go full screen for you there. Oh, not that one. That didn't work. Anyway, uh, with Jesse, I told you what my information was and what my knowledge was. And of course, I would have loved to have had Jesse in the squad. We were one outfield player less on the team sheet today. So why would I have allowed him to have four or five days off? I would have loved to have had him in the squad, but it was not the case. And therefore, it doesn't make sense to speak about the players who are not available. So Ragnick there coming out and defending himself like some public scrap. Because Lingard has undermined the position of his manager. And Ragnick here is doing nothing but telling the truth and being honest about what is going on. And the reason for that is not because Jesse Lingard is lying. It's not because Ralph Radnick is lying. It's because there is a broken line of communication at Manchester United. And I tell you who's involved in it. And this is something that I think we all suspected. It seems to definitely be the case. John Murto is involved in this whole situation. John Murto there. Um, I've just realized I haven't turned my other light on. Turn that bad boy on. There we go. Looks a little bit better now. Why not? Back to the video. John Murto spoke to Lingard and suggested that he took time off. Now, this is what is going on at Manchester United. Let me explain it to you. There's a power vacuum at United. When it comes to a leader abdicating power, what happens is there's a free-for-all run for anybody to try and grab it. It's what's going to happen when Boris Johnson finally resigns, the absolute whopper. That's going to happen inside... The political party. You're going to watch it. There's going to be a power vacuum. Everybody chasing that power. At Manchester United, that power vacuum has happened since Fergie retired. Now, that means that the players have started to suck power away from the club. And that now means we've got a situation here where Ralph Ragnick is not only being undermined by the players like Jesse Lingard here, like Anthony Martial here, who are coming out with public statements to defend their own self-interest because they're far bigger and more important than the club. And as long as they're all right, that's all that really matters. Both of them undermining. I'm not saying either of them are lying, but both of them are guilty of undermining their manager and their boss. And then John Murto, because he's our football director on paper now, Ralph Rannick is about to step into that role. It seems like John here is technically trying to do his job, but not communicating it properly with Ralph Rannick. He's inexperienced in that role. I mean, it's, I don't know what that's got to do with, an ex, with experience or not. I mean, you should just speak to your manager if you speak to the player. But then that's leaving Ralph high and dry. If the football director is having a conversation with the player and not speaking to the manager, and all of a sudden the manager's coming out and saying something, which is true as far as he is concerned, but there's different conversations going on behind the scenes. So not only is Ralph Rannick being undermined by the players, and not only is Ralph Rannick being undermined by his staff, who are supposed to be helping him, he's being undermined by the board and the owners as well, who blocked Jesse Lingard's move to Newcastle. And this is why I'm so pissed off about this whole situation right now. I saw it coming. 
it didn't take very much. It didn't take a lot of foresight to realise that keeping Jesse Lingard at the club was going to be a sideshow and a circus that Manchester United and Ralph Rangnick could ill afford. Lo and behold, after the first game, it's all blown up in United's face. Basically, the Glazers valued an extra few million pounds in the bank account rather than a cohesive and a unified Manchester United squad for their manager, Ralph Ragnick, to work with. By doing that, they undermined his power. They swept the feet from under Ralph Ragnick. And now we've got a manager there that I do trust and I feel has United's best interests at heart. And he's probably the only person I can say about that. I think John Murto now is probably thinking about himself, his position and his role. And why wouldn't he? Ralph Rennick's about to step up and go alongside it. We'd probably do the same in the same situation. Lingard, only thinking about himself. Martial was only thinking about himself, but we got rid of him to Sevilla. Now, instead of having a conversation about the football, about what we should be talking about, we're here just having bullshit conversations about the ball blocking move, a move for Lingard, about Lingard coming out and undermining the manager, about what Martial did previously, about the fact that Murto accidentally is part of the chaos. And it's just, it, it's, it, 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 no matter where you look at Manchester United, <coughs> it's just a shambles. It really is. From having 30 shots against, um, uh, gee, I've actually completely gone blank there, against Middlesbrough. It's amazing what happens when you don't want to think about it. 30 shots against Middlesbrough. And I, I don't, but I don't want to talk about that. The football itself was far good enough to, more than good enough to win that game against Middlesbrough. One of the best 60 minutes of football we've seen under Ragnick. He is a man, it's, and it's odd. It's really odd. And I think it's a sign of the times that I've got more trust in Ralph Ragnick than I do in, in the board, than I do in the players, and than I do with the likes of Murto and Fletcher, who are supposed to be helping him, right? But by doing that, by John Murto doing that, and it's what I feared, because I didn't really feel, I mean, I, if you look, if you stand back and you look at it, like, what does Ralph Ragnick stand to gain from lying? And I'm not, I'm not really sure he gains anything. At all. If anything, he undermines himself if he's lying. What does Jesse Lingard and, and the players gain get set to gain from lying? That's a different ball game. You can see them gaining something there. You know, credit, um, public favour, United fans' favour. They could gain that back if they were lying about things. But it's just not really a professional thing to do. And I like to think the players wouldn't lie like that. Of course, some do. But I don't think Lingard's lied here. I don't think Martial's lied here. I think both of them have been part of this chaotic structure at Manchester United that Ralph is the man that we've just got to do this and pray and hope that he can be the man to come and tore, tear it all up and say, let's get rid of this bullshit structure that we've got that's causing this chaos and let's, you know, operate like a professional football club, like one of the biggest football clubs in the world. And we can avoid situations like this, where it's a manager against a player in public where it's a manager against a player in public, where it's a manager against his own football director in public, where it's a manager against his own board in public. Ralph was brought into this club to help this club. And it's seemingly Manchester United are doing everything in their power from the bottom to the top to make his job as difficult as possible. They're basically making it like an it's, it's a knockout run. Joel Glazer standing there... <laughs> Jesse Lingard standing there, Martial standing there, Paul Pogba not signing a contract, he's standing there. They're, everybody's standing there and just trying to punch Ragnick off this course that he's on to try and take him down a different path that he doesn't want to go down. And he's trying to cope with it and come through the other side of it. And that, what kind of football club does that to your own manager, man? What are you doing, United? Jesus. As I said, it's not just about this. The fact that we've had so many chances against Middlesbrough, I, I, I could come on here and moan about it. And hell, maybe we'll talk about Cristiano Ronaldo tomorrow and the problems that that sort of bring into the team. But this is just... This chaos here with Lingard was so easily avoidable, was so obviously going to... I didn't expect it to happen, A, this fast, uh, and B, on this scale. But it was always going to be a problem keeping Lingard at the club. It would have always been a problem keeping Anthony Martial at the club. And we, and we loaned him out to Sevilla. We loaned Van der Beek out to Everton to stop that from becoming a problem. Although I don't really think it would have done with Donny. He's too meek of a character. But with Jesse, he's, try, he's coming out and defending himself in public. As I said, his own self-interest right now is what is important to him. He's going to be a free agent in a few months. He wants to make sure that he gets a new club. Everybody's looking out for themselves. And Manchester United are being ripped apart at the seams. 
Ralph Ranick is the man who's trying to piece it all together, who's trying to hold it all together whilst everybody else is just pulling him away. The Glazers, they valued a few more million for Lingard over, the, over giving their own manager the best possible chance of success between now and the end of the season. It's, we've been compromised in midfield for so long and Ragnick's position is just getting compromised from every single angle and it's infuriating me because he's a man I trust. He's a man who's done it before and he's a man I think who can do it at Manchester United if the club just worked with him instead of against him. What are they doing? And I don't know how it changes or where it changes. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. I suppose a bit of a different type of video here, but I really understand it. As I said, there is a power vacuum going on at Manchester United. Everybody's trying to grab power from every single direction and take it away from the man in Ralph Radnick who's supposed to be steering the ship. That's not how it's supposed to work. Please let me know what you think in the comments and whether you think I'm going over the top here.